I really like the light yesterday, like this on the end of the Q&A, so I thought I'd start today's vlog, even though it's the middle of the morning, kind of in this lighting. It just kind of looks a bit moodier. Anyway, what do you think? I'm going to record bits of the sax today on the old Zoom, but you can see this is why I don't like often leaving things in gig bags because I've cracked the screen, but never mind. I really want to use the iPhone with the new mic I've been talking about, but I need the iPhone to power the Drum Genius app. So it was kind of, this was the best compromise I could do. I just don't find that the the road mic on the camera has a good sound for the sax. So anyway, enough excuses laid out there. I wanted to talk today. <clears throat> I wanted to talk today about what I spoke about a couple of vlogs ago about kind of just using a scale for your practice. I got the idea from this Ted Nash video. I think it's a great idea. But also as well, there was a couple of questions I got on Twitter and on the saxophone forum, that's Cambridge Saxophone, about um, the Mixolydian Sharp 11 versus the Lydian Dominant versus the Melodic Minor. And kind of the answer is, they're all the same scale. I'll explain why now, if you go with me. And also the altered scale to a certain extent. So let's let's deal with the first question, which was, what is a Mixolydian Dominant? Because at first, I never, I've no, I never really referred to it as a Mixolydian Dominant. I referred to it as the Lydian Dominant, but I'll explain why. Okay, so here is G, what do we call it first? Mixolydian Sharp 11. Well, it's this scale anyway. And I'm playing it on a G on the tenor. So effectively the notes are G, well, let me, let me, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F natural. So it's a mixolydian mode in that it's got the F natural. Here's a mixolydian mode on G. It becomes a sharp 11 mixolydian by raising the C to a C sharp. Now, I've always gone the other way. I've always thought of that as a Lydian dominant. It's the same thing, but it's kind of what do you give prior, you know, precedent to. So I tend to give it to the Lydian scale because the Lydian's so rich. And that that C sharp, that sharp four really, or 11 really, but really punches in my mind. You really, really is a distinctive sound. And if you played that over a G7 chord, you will be playing the sharp 11. And it does sound really cool. It sounds, Coltrane uses it a lot, as does a whole hell, hell load of other players. But it's there, okay. So I would I would normally refer to that as a Lydian dominant, and all it is is a Lydian mode with a flattened seventh. That's how I think of it. But of course, the other way around is to think of a mixolydian mode with a raised fourth, raised eleventh, same thing. Okay. In terms of how that relates to the melodic minor, play the G down. Basically, they are the, that is the fourth mode of the melodic minor of D. Stay with me, don't get too confused. Okay, in other words, the same notes form the D melodic minor scale. So I'll play the same notes, but starting on D. Okay, exactly the same notes. Okay, D melodic minor. And this is something I say an awful lot to my students. Know your major scales, everything else comes afterwards because that's just D major with a flat and third. Flat and the third, the F sharp becomes F natural. And C, so C sharp altered is the seventh mode of D melodic minor. In other words, it's D melodic minor starting on C sharp. Or if I want to go down low. Anyway, back 
to this um, kind of, well, how many different versions of it there? We've got Mixer Lydian Sharp 11, Lydian Dominant, same scale, which is also, which is the fourth mode of the melodic minor. In other words, it's uh, those first two we started on G, but if we play the same note starting on D, we get D melodic minor. If we play the same note starting on C sharp, we get C sharp altered. All the same thing. So the beauty is I can cover all those four scales by practicing just one scale. How you deploy it is kind of down to how you hear it, but also, you know, kind of the rules of harmony. And it's important just to get into your head. So when I'm practicing this now, initially I'm going to practice it back to being G Lydian dominant. Makes looking sharp. I'm going to call it Lydian dominant because it's just easier in my head. So I'm going to be resolving to the G all the time. But if I was deploying it as D melodic minor, I would resolve to the D. And if I was deploying it as C sharp altered, I would resolve it to the C sharp. It's how it resolves. Charlie Parker used to say there are no such thing as wrong notes, just wrong resolutions. And he's, he's really spot on if you start to understand that. It's how you resolve, how the harmony hears. And so let's pop a drum genius on. Let's just kind of do it as like a medium swing. And as you can tell, as you start going around the circle, it gets a bit harder. You've got to kind of deploy it. And the biggest difficulty I have is trying to stick to it because my fingers want to play other things in there, other things they know. Um, but that's fast, cool. You know, if you're trying to distinctly work down that root of that scale, you obviously stick to it that way. I think I am going to go outside because the weather is absolutely beautiful today. <laughs> I do love the springtime. There's something about it that just makes you want to, I don't know, get up and dance. It's just so nice. You know, I told you about how much better this was supposed to be if I get it out of the case. I cannot get it out of the case. It's like wedged in. Done. Whether it'll ever close again is another matter. So let's have, ooh, let's see if we can stick it on record. There we go. So that's the eight man recording now. I hope the colors are better outside of this than they were when it was inside the case. So usually just a few weeks before air show weekend it is a nice Wednesday afternoon all well so many of the vintage planes are coming out that was the Memphis Bell which I think is a B-17 if I'm right I'm not that amazing with historical aircraft anyway it's amazing when you see them all and Spitfires and everything else like that so hopefully the B-17 I got a really really lovely pass of it just a minute ago at the bottom of the garden I just forgot to press record so hopefully this time I remember to hit record when he does another pass if he does another pass and it'll make a great little add-on to the vlog, I hope. can't be in English somewhere without a little bit of cricket taking place so I think that's a really good time to finish today's vlog I hope you will be able to take away that idea of the Lydian dominant scale or the mixed Lydian sharp 11 being basically a melodic minor or an altered scale it's the same thing get 
one of them nailed down and the other ones will follow in time. We just spend time working on them. And if you were going to use any of them, I'd say the melodic minor because that's kind of the easiest concept because if you practice your major scales, everything else falls in. Thank you very much for watching today. If you don't already subscribe, please make sure you hit the subscriber button because it helps me make these videos better. And if you have any comments, please feel free to stick them in the box before I go, before I ask you to hit the subscribe button. On Saturday, I'm doing a very, very special vlog with a friend of mine called Nia, who was a promoter for a number of jazz festivals for about seven years. And I'm gonna ask her about kind of what the secrets are to being able to get your band noticed for a festival. So if you've got any questions or anything that you might, you know, if you're a musician yourself or if you've got bands and you're kind of wondering how did this band get booked, why is this band on and that band not on, please stick them in the comments box today or contact me on Twitter, it'd be even better and I will make sure that I ask Nia those questions on Saturday. She now lives in Barcelona, lucky her, and I'll be going through some of those questions with you. But that's all for now, don't forget to please do hit the subscribe button. I will see you very, very soon.